Let's stop or meet me at the altar. And these are our marquee memories. So in middle school, I found out that Paramore was coming to Tampa, Florida, and I was freaking out about it. I begged my dad to take me. I spent months preparing for that concert. I remember looking up videos of Paramore's performances and like just studying everything and being like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna experience this. Being at that show was the moment that I realized that I wanted to be in a band. Seeing Haley Williams on stage gave me so much hope and inspiration to believe in myself and know that I could be up there too. When we found out the lineup for when we were young and we saw Paramore on there, I think I screamed like actually <laughs> mm -hmm. out loud. Haley is definitely a carefree, wild energy on stage, and that was something that I wanted to embody myself because it just looks like she's having the time of her life. And like, that's what music is all about. And that's the energy that the crowd feeds off of, which you can then feed off of. And it's just this cycle that keeps going. And I wanted to be a part of that. I went to go to see Circus Survival. Really, not really, because I went for the opener. I had no idea who Circus Survival was yet. I think I was 15 years old. It was at a venue called the Tabernacle in Atlanta, and that's one of my favorite venues ever. It's just like beautiful, like repurposed church. And I just, Anthony Green is so incredible. He's very carefree on stage and you can really tell that he loves his art and he loves his music and he loves performing because he's, I think, one of the best performers that I've ever seen. I will never forget that night ever. They had like purple lights and a lot, hella fog. Um, <laughs> after that, I've just been following them forever and that was 2015. So, so that concert worked on you. Yeah. <laughs> Pilots. I was 16 years old. This was September 2015 for their Blurry Face tour. And at this point in time, Meet Me at the Altar had just formed. It was only me and Taya, and, but we didn't have Edith yet. We were holding auditions. Like this was like the beginning of everything. And I was already a really big 21 Pilots fan. And they were playing New York for two dates in a theater. This is before they started playing like really big stadiums. Like this was a theater still. And I went with my dad, but like, this was the first time I went to a show with friends. Oh. So I was so excited. I just, I just will never forget how it felt. Like Use them, your chaperone. Yeah, I'll never forget how it felt. Them like getting on stage and they were opening with Heavy Dirty Soul. And that's like one of my favorite songs. Everyone in the crowd knew the songs. Mm -hmm. And it was just such a magical moment. I used to do YouTube covers and ever since I was like, nine, 10 years old. That's how I found her. Yeah, because I used to do drum band. covers and stuff like that. And one thing led to another. And when I posted a drum cover of Heavy Dirty Soul, Josh Dunn and Tyler Joseph of Total Pilots saw the cover and posted about it on Twitter, Aww. which kind of like gave me a really big push. That's how like Taya found my videos and then we started a band together. And so I kind of owed everything to 21 Pilots. Thank you so much for listening to our Marquee Memories. We want to hear yours too. So comment below. 